like coming for you playing the first game back at home? What does it mean to you? What did it feel like? I felt good playing out there. I've been in front of the home crowd again. Um, almost every one of these games at home, it's going to feel like a prim game where every time I touch the ball, there's going to be some excitement. So I just got to get used to it and just try to um, keep the game playing um, on my mind and play the, play the way I normally know how to play. Derek, can you describe your emotions throughout the day leading up to the game, the moment you woke up, thinking about tonight? It's been the same, um, just being professional, taking care of my job, being prepared, and just putting in the work. And um, tonight, I felt like I was in a little bit more rhythm and just getting to the lane and getting my feet under me. Did you get emotional at all when you hit the court? Um, not at all. I think I'm past that. Um, the jitters and everything should be out. Um, for me, it's just going out there and just trying to compete and try to get better as, uh, as a team and as a leader. You got nice ovations as soon as you were introduced. Every time you touch the ball early in the game, what does it do to you inside? It feels good, but at the same time, I got to know that um, it's a game to be played, and you know, I can't get called up into that. But don't get me wrong, I love it. When you got to the rim, Derek, on the last play of the first half, what was that like? Was that a preview of what's to come? Uh, I wouldn't say that. I was just trying to, um, just trying to um, really be aggressive and. At that time, I just did a move, and that's the way I normally know how to play. So uh, for um, what's to come, um, I hope so. But uh, for me, I was just trying to do anything to get to the basket. 22 points, 22 minutes. Was this obviously, was your best game of the preseason. Do you feel Thank that way? Uh, we got the win. That's the only thing I care about, um, us winning games and us getting better as a team. Um, I think some of the other guys had great games, too. Um, the rookies stepped up. Um, I think Tony played great, but as, um, the second group played great. So that's the only thing I'm worried about right now. Derek, you, Derek, you've been to the foul line, Derek, 25 times in three games. Do you have a figure in mind how many times you'd like to go to the line per game? Because you're averaging eight per contest. I'm trying not to think about this. This is my first time hearing about it. But for me, it's whatever the defense gives me. If they're going to be on me, um, go to the hole, make plays for my teammates. But if not, shoot the jump shot and um, just getting my feet under me uh, for the jump shots. Do you, do you feel any more tenderness? At the end of the first half just to, to kind of build it up again? Um, I wouldn't say that. They were really hitting me. Um, I wish I could fake it, but <laughs> it was really contact out there. But that's the way I normally play. Uh, I think that I prepare myself for the contact, and I'm bouncing back up. Derek, do you feel any more tentativeness out there at this point? Is that pretty no. much all gone? Um, that's all gone now. I'm, I'm used to just playing. Um, uh, for me, I think this right here is is um, um, kind of something new for me. I haven't had all these reporters but in the media, but for me being on the court, I'm used to that. Are you surprised to see this many people for a preseason game? Yeah, I'm surprised, but um, it comes along with the process, me being out for a year, so I can understand why. Talk about having Joe King Noah with you on the court for the first time during this preseason. Joe is huge, man. He's an energy guy. We missed him. He's been practicing the whole time, but this tonight was his first time on the court. But it felt good. I uh, run the floor, rebound the ball. Just um, him being out there, it makes everybody feel um, very good about themselves because he's he's one of the leaders on this team. Derek, you've always been your own harshest critic. Where do you want to get better before the regular season starts? Uh, for me, I still um, still got to knock some rust off. Like I said, get my um, feet under me for my jump shots, and I think that's about it. What about Where are you timing? at in terms of timing? Um, timing, for sure, that's going to have to come with me just playing these games. But at the same time, I think it's coming back slowly. How about the feel for your teammates and making the pass the way you normally would? Um, like I said, it's the first time I, I ever played on the on the team where guys are really focused in and keyed in to um, what we need to do to win. Um, everybody's professional, uh, out professional, and uh, I'm just fortunate to be on the team like this. And uh, for us, we have a huge opportunity ahead of us. Uh, we could really contend for a title, but we got to take every practice, every shooting round, every day serious so that we could get there. Derek, how difficult has this process been for you? It's not difficult at all. Um, I'll see if I was called up into the media or something like that. Um, for me, that's the only time that um, it's kind of weird. But when I'm at home, I'm either with my son or um, I'm watching like a TV show or something. So it gives me a little time for myself. What's it like with him uh, being able to see you? I know his brother doesn't understand yet, but you know, seeing his dad at work. 
It's cool. Um, he's a fan of the game already. Um, he loves basketball. So um, for me, if it was up to me, I wouldn't want him to play. But if he ends up playing it, um, it'll be great. And I hope he take it serious. I think in the first half you hit that layup over Drummond. You started getting MVP chance. What do you think the line with that BT? I really didn't hear it at the time. I was just focused on making free throws because I missed like 50 of them already. So <laughs> I was just worried about making shots and um, really getting my legs under me for my jump shots.